morning. McAvenue School, Mr. Domina here handling the McAvenue morning announcements. Today is Wednesday, September 27, 2023. Thank you once again for joining me for the Wednesday edition of McAvenue's morning announcements. And that's that special edition that is right in the middle of the week. And this week is going amazing. So nice job working really hard and staying super, super focused. Now I'm looking outside today and it's feeling a little bit cool, just like fall, but I know the weather is going to warm up perfect day to get outside and enjoy some outdoor time during outdoor recess. So I can't wait. So we got lots to cover. So let's get to it. And again, here is that reminder. It is I ready time and we are focusing on that reading test that you will be taking. And I went into classrooms yesterday, a bunch of classrooms and many students were completing the reading I ready assessment. So remember, take your time, do all of the reading and do your best to answer the questions. And if you do that, you are going to do amazing. And remember, we use that information so that we can create a different path for you if you need some help to improve your reading skills, okay? And that information allows us to say, this is what you're really good at, and this is what you need to work on, and let's figure out how you can work on what you need to work on. That is our job here at McAvenue as teachers. So try your best when you're doing your iReady reading this week. All right, that's the last reminder. We're ready to start and come together like we always do. Coming together as one unified collective school showing our ultimate sign of respect. You know it by reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. So let's stand up, turn your voice off, put your right hand over your heart, make sure to face the flag that's in your classroom or learning space and we will begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisibly with, pardon me, indivisibly with liberty and justice for all. Okay, let's try that one more time because I stumbled at the bottom. Here we go, one more time. Right hand over your heart. All right, here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you for bearing with me. Sometimes you make a mistake and you have to simply roll with it and it's okay to do it over again, especially when it comes to the pledge and how important that is for us to start our day showing our ultimate sign of respect. So nice job doing it a second time. I appreciate that. All right. Moving right into McAvenue's yoga pose of the week. Remember, we are focusing on the mountain pose this week, and this is the last time that we will do it collectively as a school. You can still do it on Thursday in your class, individual student, that's your option, or as a full class, that is an option that your teacher can review with you coming together as a class practicing the mountain pose. And remember, the mountain pose, when we do our yoga, it is typically the first pose that we start with, and there's two versions of that. One, the standing mountain pose, which is what we're practicing, or the seated mountain pose, which is the same thing except for you are, that's right, seated. So let's get to it and let's practice. It's simple. Remember, we're standing up. Our feet are hip width apart and our hands are simply at our side, just like the picture on the left-hand side. Remember, you can do some controlled breathing at this time. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold it and release it. Remember, though, that's not required for the mountain pose, but it's something you can do to get your body and mind settled and ready to engage in yoga. But for this case, all you're doing is you're pausing at the, after the mountain pose because that is the only thing that we are practicing. You will see next week when we launch a brand new yoga pose that we will start in the standing mountain pose and then add some movement on top of starting in that mountain pose and then we will end in the mountain pose as well. All right, so nice job, everyone. Mountain pose, very easy, but it's important to have that first part of all of our yoga poses practiced so that everybody can launch the next yoga pose in full McAvenue style and being ready to go. So nice job, everyone, with the mountain pose. Moving on to birthdays. And remember, right in the middle of the week, we cover, and you already see the birthday down there because I didn't do the slide transition, so let's just get the other days up there right now. And so as I'm speaking, you can take a look at the birthdays, okay? So remember, on the Wednesday 
uh, edition of McAvenue's Morning Announcements. We cover the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday birthdays, and the Thursday birthdays are already on there, and you saw that. So let's get to it. If you look at the Tuesday and Wednesday birthdays, no birthdays. So on September 26th, yesterday, zero birthdays at McAvenue, and today, the 27th, zero birthdays at McAvenue. That's both faculty and students. But on Thursday, September 28th, we have two birthdays to cover. One, we have Mayor's birthday in room 201, and the one and only Mr. Domina's birthday. That's me. My birthday is tomorrow um and so it'll be awesome no need to get me anything though for my birthday so don't spend any time going out and getting cupcakes and any of that stuff not that big of a deal but i wanted to let you know my birthday will be tomorrow as well um and if you're interested in how old i am stop me in the hallway today and ask me be happy to share that out um but i'm not going to share it out publicly right now because it's a secret right Actually, it isn't. Many kids at the school already know how old I am. And remember, if you knew how old I was last year, just add one more year to it, and that's going to give you that number. All right. So let's do our birthday celebration round of applause for the only two birthdays that we have over the next couple of days. So get your hands ready to go. Here we go. All right. So stay tuned for the Friday edition where we cover the Friday birthdays and Saturday birthdays to wrap up our week. All right. It's McAvenue's joke of the week. All right. The joke of the day, not a joke of the week. It is McAvenue's joke of the day. And today's joke is a student joke that was passed on to me. And let's share it out. It is a great one. So here we go. So the joke for today is why did the student eat their homework? Do you have your guess, prediction, or suggestion locked in your mind? So why did the student eat their homework? All right, here we go. Looks like everybody's ready to go. They have their guess or they've um, made a prediction here. The answer is because the teacher told the student it was a piece of cake. That's right. Kid ate their homework because they thought the teacher said it was a piece of cake. Now, remember, you can say a piece of cake when something's really easy. That was a piece of cake. But in this case, student ate the homework because they, the teacher said it was a piece of cake. I'm going to eat it. So let's look at the graphic. Boom. Eating their homework. Now, cautionary note here, please do not do that. Clearly, you do not need to eat a home, your homework or put paper in your mouth today. But for the sake of the joke, that graphic is appropriate. All right, so that's McAvenue's joke of the day. Remember to share it with family and friends to get them to smirk, to get them to smile, and better yet, to get them to laugh. The whole idea of doing these is to start your morning off feeling really good about being at school and the work that we're going to do in a fun and silly way. And then you can share it out with somebody else to make their day. Always really exciting. All right. One good news story to share out, and it's going to be our kindergarten friends in room 208, and Miss Martineau and Miss Middleton's class, and they did a little apple taste test, perfect time during the fall where it's apple season. They had some apples laid out there. It looks like three different varieties, and they had a taste test where they try the apple and then rate it if they really liked it or not, all right? And they also had an opportunity to make some applesauce, and they tried it in class, which was really cool. And we're going to share out a couple of examples of how kids exactly felt, all right? There we go. Little thumbs up right there with the applesauce, right? I kind of like that applesauce. It smelled really good when I smelt it the other day walking by. He likes it. Let's look at it here. No bueno. He doesn't like it. All right. So remember, some like it, some don't like it. That's the way it goes when you do a taste test. All right. So that is the good news that we're sharing out for room 208. Kind of fun. And uh, thank you for sharing that out, Miss Middleton. Uh, let's do our congratulations celebration round of applause uh, for this particular good news story. Uh, really fun to be able to share that one out. All right. Teachers, keep those good news stories coming in. Be happy to share them out during morning announcements as usual. And when you see that really cool kind of like purple teal blended screen, that's right. You know it's time to talk about McAvenue's core values. What's the first one, everyone? All right. It is respect. Awesome. And what's that second one? Let me hear it. All right. Amazing. It is responsibility. And that final one? Ooh, I love it. It is safety. So today, I want you to focus on safety. That is your core value focus or your core value challenge for today. What I want you to do during outdoor recess is make safe decisions with your bubble space, right? So remember, when you're outside moving around in that front playground, the rooftop courtyard, or the park across the street, remember, you can run around and have fun and get your energy up. I like that. Work up a sweat. That's great. But remember, you have bubble space. And that bubble space is that space that you have around you that you have to respect and that other people have to respect as well, right? There's no need to crash, slam into, bump into. If you're playing tag to really hit that person really hard on their body, you have to respect that bubble space. And when you do that, especially at recess time, everything will be amazing and you will have a better chance to have a great time um, and enjoy yourself. 
So that is your safety challenge for today. Give me a double thumbs up if you think you can do that. Boom, I like it. So remember, when we put respect, responsibility, and safety all together, we will continue to make McAvenue, that's right, the best school that we all know. That is it for me. Let's do our fist bump sign out. Here we go, and uh, let's get it going here. One, two, three. So go get them today. Work hard today. Laugh today. Smile today. Remember your safety challenge today. If you're taking the iReady reading assessment, try your very best. Enjoy your time outside. Work really, really, really hard um, with all the great work that your teacher has set up for you. We are looking for full effort. We're not looking for you to be perfect, but we're looking for a lot of effort. And if you do that, you will have an amazing Wednesday at the best school that we all know. That's it for me. My apologies. Little, little weird morning announcements today. There's actually like a an alarm that's going on outside. So I'm like really distracted by that alarm. I'm not sure what it's about. So I'm going to go investigate. Um, so my apologies if I seem a little bit distracted or it's a little bit disjointed, but it's the way it goes sometimes. Not everyone's going to be perfect. All right. You'll catch up with me in all the usual places, which is everywhere. So go get them, have some fun, and I'll see you soon. Take care.